In depth tonight, debate over a bill that will become law this fall, LB 605. The idea behind it is prison reform, and it passed the Nebraska unicameral this spring without a single no vote. As Brian Mastery reports, critics say there are all sorts of problems with it. Nebraska's prisons are overcrowded by more than 150 percent. The majority of lawmakers didn't want to build more prisons, so the new law would lessen the time inmates spent locked up for a number of crimes. The Council of State Governments helped draft the law, determining what the average amount of time was for a Nebraska crime, and then moving the maximums to better reflect that number. They essentially took a whole class of felonies um, and essentially made them misdemeanors. And my fear is that there's going to be a, a um, sort of a domino effect that people that are charged with seemingly serious violent crimes will spend little to no time in prison only to get back out and reoffend. Did 605 go too far? No, I don't think so. It maybe didn't go far enough. Um, we still have a huge um, overpopulation of uh, people in our prisons. We have a lot of people in our prisons that, uh, you know, need more rehabilitation um, and more services. And I think that we could have done better with providing funding for services. LB 605 takes effect in September, but already investigators are pointing out current examples of where the defendants will catch a big break. Take the case of Gabriela Guevara, girlfriend of the man accused of stabbing his mother to death and throwing his brother in the Elkhorn River. Guevara is accused of being an accessory to a felony. Detectives allege she got rid of evidence and tried to conceal blood at the crime scene. A conviction could give her 20 years in prison on one accessory charge. The new law will change the maximum for an accessory to four years. Didn't the judges already have discretion to give, you know, 20 years, one year? Yep, they did have the discretion to do that already. So why make it four? Because we, we have seen an explosion in the prison population. We've seen that, you know, not every crime deserves 20 years in prison. Not every crime um, deserves 10 years in prison. Um, and so we're moving back down um, many of the uh, thresholds to be more reasonable and more smart on crime than tough on crime, while still preserving judicial discretion, still preserving punishment. He also said the bill does something else for the first time. Few inmates will be able to jam out, meaning serve their time and then leave with no follow-up. LB 605 guarantees most of them will be supervised when they get out. In Lincoln with photographer Jim Hinchick, I'm Brian Mastery reporting, WWT6 News. Some other changes, motor vehicle homicide, strangulation and terroristic threats will go from a maximum sentence of five years to three years in prison. The police union notes with the good time law still in effect, the three-year sentence is immediately cut in half.